hello everyone creative in here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we're gonna learn how to design this awesome slide before moving further let's watch this cyber bullying or cyber harassment is a form of bullying or harassment by using electronic means it should be checked and stopped immediately everyone should come together and make efforts in this direction here are some eye-opening facts. 73% of students reported that they had been bullied at school some point in their lifetime. Girls are more likely to be a victim of cyberbullying than boys. Social media cyberbullying is most prevalent in Instagram followed by Facebook and Snapchat. Femisafe is a reliable parental control app which protects kids in cyberbullying prevention, location tracking, app blocking, web filtering, screen time control, and so on. Parents can get automatic alerts on potential risk of cyberbullying, inappropriate adult content, harassment, and more in your kids' text conversations. Here are some tips to stop cyberbullying. Don't befriend people you don't know. Don't pass on any cyberbullying videos or messages. Block users who send you nasty messages. Say no to cyberbullying with family safe together. Love your kids, so keep them safe. To know more about family safe, please click the description links below. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership and hit the like button. So coming back to tutorial as we always do, insert a rectangle shape. Place it at the center, duplicate it. Place it on the top of previous shape. Remove the outlines. Let's fill a nice bright color. Now again duplicate these two shapes. Now we have these four shapes. Again align to center and middle. Again duplicate. So now we have 8 shapes here, let's place it at the center. Now we are gonna draw a beautiful curved line here, for that you need to draw a curved line like this as you can see on your screen and complete this shape by joining the starting and ending node and here you can get a shape like this now subtract this from the first rectangle and give it a different color so that we can differentiate it send to back repeat the same process for the second rectangle shape again draw a curved line Designing a curved line is very easy. You need to select the curve shape and start moving your mouse and just join the starting and ending node and you will get a shape like this. Now subtract it from the rectangle, apply a different color, send it to back and repeat this process again and again until you get the curved shape on all the rectangles as these steps are repetitive so i am fast forwarding the video now insert a second slide and we will paste all the shapes from the first slide on the second slide but in the descending order the shape with the maximum height will be at the back and the shape with the smallest height will be at the front so we will get a mountain range like this as you can see on your screen so you need to paste the shapes on the second slide you have to copy the shapes from the first slide I hope it is clear and easy to understand so till now what we have done is we have inserted these rectangle shapes so we have these 
six rectangle shapes that are required and then we have to draw the arc and subtract the arc shape from these rectangles and then we have to place these from maximum height to the minimum height on the second slide now the third part is applying colors so as you know we love gradient colors so we will fill a nice blue gradient color combination here so here you can try a different color approach as well you can search different color color schemes online or you can find gradient colors from uigradients.com so filling gradient is very easy and you must have seen in my previous videos as well so this part is very easy but I would suggest you apply your own thoughts here and add a color scheme matching with your PowerPoint template you can try here green or orange or yellow as per the color scheme of your PowerPoint template I am following a blue color scheme here so you need to use different shades of blues so that each shape is visible and these shapes should not look merged together so meanwhile you can hit the subscribe button and we will get some more subscribers we want to reach 200 thousand subscribers that's our goal i know the goal sounds a bit difficult at the moment but i know with your support we can easily achieve the goal so please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button you can also let me know your thoughts anything you want me to design any kind of presentation slide you can always let me know in the comments section below Also, you can join the membership as well. Joining membership is also a nice way to support us. So here you can see I have followed a color scheme, a blue color scheme from dark to light. The background of this presentation is of dark blue color and as we approach towards the topmost layer of the shape the color is light blue so this way we can easily differentiate between different between different shapes here so now i am adjusting the heights of these shapes so that these look more realistic like some mountain ranges now let's do some creative stuff here insert a nice circular shape and place it like this increase its width rotate it and place it at the corner let's change its shape by editing the points for that you need to select the shape go to shape format edit points now it looks something like this we have applied shadow effect to this white shape the topmost shape 
and you can adjust the shadow parameters to achieve the design you want now insert another layer of rectangle remove its outline apply a nice gradient fill matching with the background so color scheme is very important here so you should know what colors you are using because if your colors are not correct then the, then the design will not look that good please make sure the color scheme is in sync with your design so I would recommend to look out for some nice color scheme online you can google it and you will get lots of options now we have placed this layer at the second spot behind this white topmost layer so the idea here is to create a nice glass effect it's like looking through the glass so that was the idea and white layer is the topmost layer which we will use to showcase some text now add some more shapes to create a light effect like some kind of light is falling on this slide and we can see some kind of reflection so that's the idea here so we have inserted these two shapes let's apply white color and increase the transparency the transparency level is different on both these shapes and both these shapes are overlapping each other so this creates a very nice effect as you can see on a screen so make sure it is properly placed you can adjust the transparency I think I should reduce the, the height of these layers these mountain ranges a bit so you don't have to follow what I'm doing here you can try different things here you can add your own creative flavors to this design now it's time to add some text so what we have done till now we have inserted those six rectangles then we changed them to curve by using that curve tool after that we placed these on the top of each other then we have colored these shapes with the help of some nice blue gradient colors then we added these two shapes to give a nice light reflection now it's the time to add some text I hope it is easy to design and I'm able to present you in a very easy way so that you can easily get to know what I'm trying to do here I think it will look good at the top so let's align it to center now we need this shape let's place it like this so I got this idea on the go so I'm doing it in real time it's not that I have practiced the slide before and then I'm creating it I got the idea in my mind now I'm creating in real time and recording it so I'm trying to you know placing it at the center making sure the font is of right size
so I am increasing the character spacing here so now our slide is almost ready let's add some text here so I am using dummy text here let's change the font you don't have to always use Arial and Calibris try different fonts go to google fonts and download some beautiful awesome fonts there you will find all types of fonts and fonts really help in designing beautiful presentation slides so now you can see on the screen our design is taking a beautiful shape and it's coming out really nicely well i haven't covered the animation part in this video i want you to download this presentation slide and understand how the animation is done in this video because in the preview in the beginning of the video must have seen there was some animation so i want you to animate it as per your own creative thoughts so our design is complete i hope you like this design so you can see the final result here the beautiful animation as well so thanks for watching till the end i hope you will like this design so please subscribe to our channel join the membership and that way you will support us and motivate us to bring out more such beautiful videos and we are targeting more subscribers now so please subscribe hit the like button share your thoughts in the comment section and join this beautiful channel and share these videos with your friends colleagues teachers and everyone around you so thank you everyone have a nice day peace